welcome back to my channel i'm going to be doing a little vlog weekend in my life this weekend i'm not really doing anything like too exciting but i thought it'd be fun i used to really love vlogging and i still like to do little vlogs on tiktok but you know since i'm back on youtube i want to try and do a little fun weekend video so right now i just got home from work that's why i'm dressed like this we don't have to wear all black but today i was just feeling the all black um but now we're getting ready to go to there's a small town by us that does like um like a fair i guess during the week like wednesday through sunday so we're gonna meet up with a couple of friends now so i need to change i wanted to wear jean shorts but you know ladies it's that time of the month so i didn't want to ruin any cute shorts but i think this looks pretty cute put on these target biker shorts they're from like the all in motion brand along with this workout tee i got a few years ago i don't even think they sell it anymore lululemon belt bag and then my new balance 574s and then these sunglasses i have are like a ray-ban dupe and they're so freaking cute like less than 15 dollars on amazon <laughs> Saturday the next day I'm on my way to work and I have the hiccups right now so please <laughs> please excuse that but I just stopped and got a coffee because it's much needed this morning we have a oh my god we have a wedding party in the salon today and I have to do like four girls makeup and like wedding style so it's gonna be a very, oh my god a very hectic morning so I just wore my hair up in a little claw clip in my all black outfit I'll try to show you more later but I got this coffee from Duncan just oh my god a medium iced coffee with two caramel one sugar and two cream i needed something like sugary this this morning like something that's gonna get like a pep in my step you know sometimes i like a darker coffee and sometimes i just need that sweet sugary coffee so i have majorly sucked today at filming um it was such a busy hectic day i wanted to film like once i got my makeup all set up and stuff like that but we just had such a big like bridal party it was just like bam 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 after the next person we had to get the next person so did not film any and then i had a huge color transformation pink to like a dimensional more like lived in kind of color and then i got home and my fiance's parents were here so then we ate dinner with them and they just left not that long ago and then we just showered and now i'm just gonna relax for the rest of the night so i don't even know if i'm gonna post this vlog because i have not recorded anything i'm just like trying to get back into the swing of like you know remembering to record and i have not been but tomorrow i'm going to get a tattoo so i'm definitely going to vlog that i'm at least going to vlog on tiktok if it doesn't make it onto youtube then you can go watch my tattoo vlog on tiktok but i'm just getting my niece and nephew's birth flowers on my bicep can't enjoy ice cream without her trying to get some <laughs> no juni She's like, I'll give you kisses if you give me ice cream, mom. <laughs> Where's the breakfast at, Bean? Okay. Breakfast of champions. Right now, I need to get ready because I have a tattoo appointment. And it's been a few months since I've gotten a tattoo, so I'm ready to feel that needle to my skin. Now, I'm going to get ready for the day. I'm going to do a TikTok get ready with me, so if you want to see my full makeup talk through, head over to my TikTok. It's at Alyssa Harms underscore, same as like all my other social media. I decided to just do Dutch braid piggy tails. My hair's long enough to like do a full one but it kind of like sticks out weird because it's still like a little too short to really pull it off but i think it looks cute with these little pigtails like now i just need to do this side which i really don't want to once you get done with one side it's like you don't want to do the other one they look super cute from the front mm, the back we don't know you guys will let me know i'm sure i'm sure something is not right back there but How's it look? And then for the fit, this is literally all Target. My leggings are Target, covered in hair. This top is from Target. I wore like a halter neck because I'm getting my tattoo like on my bicep. So I figured it'd be easy to like drop one sleeve out while still keeping myself warm because it's probably gonna be cold in there. This Target, or this flannel is also from Target. And then I'll probably just put on like my Converse. Junie. She loves hanging out in here while I get ready. She's so cute. 
Okay, I just got to the tattoo shop. I got a little bag with me. I brought my Matthew Perry Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing book. I've been reading through that. And then some goldfish in case I get hungry. Because I'll probably be here for a few hours. I'm so excited. I'm a little nervous. I don't know why. I think just because I've never, like gotten work done here before so it's just like a new place and i'm nervous but i'm super excited i honestly could take a nap right now so i want to be surprised if i kind of like dozed off during my tattoo appointment i have a pretty high pain tolerance i feel like when it comes to tattoos like i'm really relaxed it's not super painful for me but i also don't have any pieces like on my bicep area so we'll see i feel like that's not a super sensitive area so it should be fine Like, or should I just say, um, the housemaid's secret, which it means equal to the house, I don't say that one of us is dead, but she probably look like so rough right now, but I don't know where the day went. I just really didn't do anything after my tattoo appointment. I'll show you a better view of it tomorrow, but. I don't know if you can see it very good. The lighting in here is not the greatest. I've just been sitting here doing my nails. If you didn't know, I do my nails at home. I do the Gel X. My favorite set of tips is the Beatles ones from Amazon. I've tried so many different ones. Um, I've tried professional brands. Like I've tried them all. The Beatles ones are honestly the best. They just form to your nail so well. And I trim these down. I get the medium almond. And sometimes I do wear like the full length. But lately I've just been liking making them like a shorter almond um, shape and they're so freaking cute. I did OPI Susie Nails New Orleans gel color and then I have like this rose gold chrome that I just, I don't even know where I got this to be honest. I've had it for a while. Um, it has like no label on it but I just put that on there and they turned out so cute. I love them. Pink is just the vibe for the summer. Also, this wall is not finished yet. <laughs> That's why it has like some white in there because I forgot I wanted to make this wall like a sage green color with like white accents in it. It's hard to explain. Like you'll just have to see once I'm done. But I started going over with the white when I was painting the other wall and I was like, oh shit, like I forgot. And I just haven't gotten around to doing it. So it's just... <laughs> looks like that for now so if you see that in any of the background of my videos ignore it just act like it looks like the rest of my room good morning happy monday it is about 11 a.m and i just got ready for the day i washed my hair last night so this is just what it is air dried and that's just what we're gonna go with today i might put it up later when i do some yard work but i did not get up as early as i wanted to today i wanted to get up and like go to the gym and then run my errands but I did not sleep for crap like all last week and last night I finally got some good sleep so I just like let myself sleep which I'm I need to convince myself is okay like I don't need to be mad at myself that I did not wake up early especially because it's like it's my day off I wake up early every other day of the week I should let myself sleep in and I woke up early yesterday so like I need to get that mindset that it's okay um but so I just got ready I need to eat some breakfast because I'm getting pretty hungry I mean it is almost like lunchtime I think I'm just gonna make a little breakfast sandwich maybe I'm kind of feeling something warm so we're gonna go do that and then I can't decide I think I might go to the grocery store I just need to pick up a few things really don't need that much kind of just like the weekly like restocks of like fruits and stuff like that um and then I want to run to Ulta, but I don't know if I feel like doing that today. I need a couple of restocks from there, but I don't know. I guess I'll see how I feel once I'm out and about. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> Kitchen is slowly coming together. Still need to put a few miscellaneous things away. The dining room is pretty much all cleared out. Just a few boxes left that we need to put away. I don't know if I mentioned this at all yet, but we just moved into this house. A little over a month ago and it's finally it's finally coming together there's not much to do when all i can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are cause you're not here it's been way too long if i could lay down beside you I'll touch 
Favorite spot to sit, June? Be good. Luckily, I realized before I pulled out of my driveway, but I had to run back inside and get my reusable bag for Aldi. Okay, I just went to Aldi and then I went to Ulta. I'll show you, I'll show you what I got from Aldi once I get home. Um, but I'll give you a quick little Ulta haul. So I needed to go in because I needed some restocks on some everyday essentials. I needed body wash. This is gonna be my first time trying this. Frank Body, a clean body wash. It says, clean babes have the dirtiest thoughts. It smells really good. And I've been trying to find more things that actually have like clean ingredients in them, obviously, because that's better for your body. So I'm gonna try that. And then I also got a new body brush. I have one of these from Amazon, but I like this one because it has a handle on it. So I can actually hang it up to dry because normally I just let it sit there in the tub. So I figured I'd pick up a new one of these and this one was like $8. It's so freaking cute. Then I got a restock of my Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This is the big boy. Mine is almost out. Another restock of the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, except this time I got the niacinamide one. Before, I was, I've been using the original one, but I wanted to try the niacinamide, and they only had one left that I could find in the entire store. So, very happy about that. Another e.l.f. product, I got another shade of the Putty Blush. This is a shade Turks and Caicos. It's more of like an orange shade. I love orange blush. And then I got the e.l.f. Putty Blush, um, Putty Blush Brush. I always need more brushes, especially for like cream products because I use like the same two for everything. So I got this one and this one looks really good to blend out any like cream or liquid products. Then I also got a concealer brush. This is the Expert Concealer Real Techniques brush. Small little, almost looks like little shadow brush, but I like stuck my finger in there to feel it, to feel how like stiff it was. And it's like a good, it's really nice and soft, but still firm, because I don't want it to be too soft. And then I feel like it just makes a mess out of the concealer. And then a restock on my setting spray. This is the Milani Make It Last Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Normally I get the original uh, Make It Last Setting Spray, but they didn't have it. They only had the Dewy or the SPF one and I love dewy makeup so we're just gonna try the dewy version this time I'm very excited so that's some exciting stuff and now we need to go to the post office because I'm getting aligners from bite to fix these teeth because you know we're supposed to be getting married next not next month oh my god next September so I need to get this smile right I've been wanting to get aligners for a long time now and Invisalign is just like so ridiculously expensive and I did a lot of research looking up like the best you know at home ones and it was between Smile Direct Club, Smile Direct Club and Bite but Bite had a lot more positive reviews so I just went ahead and did Bite so I have to send my impressions back so then they could send me my retainer aligner things all right I just got home show you my little Aldi haul I literally spent like $15 on all of this I got these little colored sweet peppers just to have as snacks and like add in salads some garden salad just to have easy access to you know lunch wraps whatever and then two things of strawberries because i send jimmy with strawberries every day for lunch just to make sure he's getting some fruit in his day and i want to make like yogurt bowls with them so i got two another cucumber I make Jimmy sandwiches with these sandwich skinnies, the 100% whole wheat ones, and then a little thing of potatoes just to have for like dinner and stuff this week. So that's it for all day. It was literally $15.59 for all of this. If you're not going to Aldi, um, what are you doing? <laughs> Thank you. 
Tonight for dinner, I'm making this HelloFresh sweet chili pork and cabbage stir fry. It looks pretty good. The only issue I have with HelloFresh is, <laughs> how is this two servings of rice? <laughs> that's not even enough rice for me. <coughs> so that's jasmine rice. So we have this 90 second microwavable jasmine rice that I added, that I'm going to add to it because that is just, that's literally enough rice for a child. Okay, I got the rice and the stir fry, and then it came with these sweet onion things, I think they are. Crispy fried onions. That'll add a nice little crunch to it. We have a strawberry plant, a hanging strawberry plant outside, and these are the two little babies we got off of it today. Can you see? They're really tiny, but they actually, they look edible. This one looks better because it does have a white tip on it, but. I have just been sitting here on Amazon. I've been looking like on and off the last couple of hours, but I'm sitting here on my iPad now trying to find an area rug for the living room. I can't decide on what kind of like color and like vibe I want. It's just so hard to picture like what it's going to look like once it's all put together. Please ignore the wall back there. I know it looks ridiculous. I need to finish it. Um, but it's just so hard for me to picture like the end, you know, result with everything I'm wanting to do to the living room because I still need to paint, obviously get the rug, and then like I want to paint before I like hang any prints or photos up, obviously. And it's just very difficult for me to try and picture it. So I'm like on Pinterest looking up like my exact living room, like being my supervisor, making sure I pick a cute one. End the vlog right here. Hopefully this video was not as boring as I think it's going to be. Hopefully it was somewhat entertaining. I really don't think it will be entertaining, but that's a weekend in my life. I will see you guys in the next video.